Hey everybody, Rick here from BC Firearms Training. Today what I want to do is make some videos which will help students of mine and other students of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course pass the practical exam. This is basically study material for those students. If you are an experienced firearms user, you might find this material far too basic. And if that's the case, feel free just to uh, go on to another video of mine or other videos. Now, uh, if you are planning on taking the firearm safety course, then I do recommend that if you've never touched a firearm before, if you have very limited knowledge, that you watch these demonstrations. Without further ado, let me get down to showing you how to clear different firearms for the practical test of the Canadian Firearm Safety Course. So the first firearm you may be asked to clear safe for the Canadian Firearm Safety Course practical exam might be the lever action firearm. So I have two lever actions here that I'm going to show you how to prove safe. So you will often be instructed that you are simulating an indoor range during this practical exam. So if my downrange is that way, that is my only safe direction. So I'm going to be very, very conscious to keep this firearm in the safest possible direction. So when I'm asked to uh, identify and pick up a lever action firearm, this is what I'd be pick up. This is a Winchester Model 94. So if I pick this up, the first thing I need to do is to see if there's any ammunition in this firearm to be removed. So I'm going to press down on the loading gate here and look inside to see if I can see any ammunition in the tubular magazine. So now that I know that there's no ammunition in there, I'm going to open the action. I'm going to make it very obvious that I'm looking at the chamber, which is in the breech end of the barrel. So I'm looking right down here. Then I'm going to bring it down in front of me and I'm going to look straight down into the open action, verifying that there's nothing in the feeding path that could go into the chamber if the action were to close. Now I'm going to grab a cleaning rod and I'm going to insert it into the muzzle end of the firearm with a little mop on it and I'm going to see the end come through the open action. That way I'm examining the bore and verifying that there's nothing obstructing the bore. There's other ways to do a bore examination, but for the Canadian Firearm Safety Course practical exam, that's the way they want you to do it. So this is a Winchester Model 94. There's another very common lever action out there that you may be asked to pick up. This is a Model 336 Marlin. So first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to look inside the uh, loading gate inside the tubular magazine. Now this has a bright uh, orange follower so I can see that there's no ammunition in there. Next thing you know, I'm next thing I'm going to do is open the uh, action. Now this one doesn't have an open top so I'm going to bring it nice and high and look right in the open action here to verify that nothing is in the chamber. And then I'm going to, with a very distinct motion, bring it in front of me and look down inside the open action. I can verify that there's nothing in the feeding path now to uh, feed into the chamber. If the action were to close, then I'm going to reach forward for balance, pick up my cleaning rod again and feed it in the open. Feed it down the, the muzzle till I can see it come through the open action. Now, at this point, I've cleared both of my lever action firearms. At this point, your examiner may ask you what ammunition that firearm discharges. You are required to read it off of the side of the firearm. Even if you think you know what the ammunition is, read it off the side of the firearm. In this case, this takes a 3030 Winchester. At that point, your examiner will probably ask you to please load in chamber, load two rounds of the correct ammunition and chamber one round. So just so you know, none of these firearms are currently uh, active. They've been uh, deactivated for this examination and none of the ammunition 
in this uh, video is live. It's all dummy ammo. So I'm going to close the action. I'm going to pick up a couple of cartridges and I'm going to make sure I check the cartridge head to make of each of the cartridges to make sure that I do have the correct ammunition and that's very important. You will lose points if you don't. Then I'm going to uh, load each of the cartridges into the tubular magazine and make sure that the loading gate closes all the way. And then I'm going to cycle the action chambering one of the rounds. At that point I will probably be asked to demonstrate a uh, shooting stance, possibly a uh, standing shooting stance, or I might possibly be just asked some questions. When the instructor says cease fire, you will go into uh, your workspace, which is approximately 90 degrees downrange, and then you will do prove again. So prove is point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove all ammunition or see if there's ammunition to re be removed. I can see that there is a cartridge in the, the uh, tubular magazine, so I know that this firearm does have ammunition in there. And that's my first check. The second thing I'm going to do is open the action. The cartridge. With this firearm, I'll need to cycle it through the action. Now that I've done that, I will observe that the chamber is empty, verify that the feeding path is empty, that no other cartridge is in there. And while I'm doing this, I can see the follower of the magazine. So I know that the magazine is also empty. I'm going to reach forward for balance and examine the bore using my cleaning rod. And now I'm done. And since this is, this is a ceasefire, I'm going to put this down on the table with the action up and open. And I'm going to step back behind the ceasefire line. Thanks for tuning in. That is how you clear, how you prove safe a lever action firearm. Now, let's go on to another firearm in the next video.